Welcome back, and if this is your first time here, I am Ashley. I am a homeschooling, homesteading Christian mama of six little ones, ages 12 and under, and this is my seventh grade curriculum choices video. Okay, so my favorite seventh grade curriculum find this coming school year is a Think Well Math curriculum. It's so good. It is funny and it is simply put an engaging, it's award-winning professors that deliver these math concepts in a way that well, my soon-to-be seventh grader is just so excited. She's already started, which is what we want. They have um, testing and grade reports and Thinkwell also offers other courses like government and economics and public speaking. The government classes look exceptionally good and they offer honors courses if your child is um, above grade level and they offer something called CLEP, which are college classes that um, most colleges will accept as college credits that's fabulous. So, um, but again, it's just, they're engaging. These are award-winning professors. My daughter is going to be taking classes from somebody called Dr. Berger, and he's a PhD award-winning professor of math. Microsoft named him Global Hero of Education, and he's just so good. I'm so excited to have found this. It's a one-time fee. I will be listing a discount code for you below, um, especially for my viewers, so that's exciting. And um, I'm going to insert a clip right here of my daughter doing Think Well Math so you can see kind of what it's all about. Five. These were the populations of two famous countries, Austria and Bolivia. And you look at how many digits the numbers have. Number. Now in this case, we see that both of these numbers have the same number of digits. And ooh, Rosetta Stone Homeschool. Ooh, what's that? I haven't even looked into that. Let's look at that. Six month French subscription, $69 on sale. It was $119. That is cheaper than the program I was looking at. In fact, the program I was looking at was $189. It's so well priced, especially with the um, special discount we get for Grace Filled Farm viewers. I am so excited that you guys are getting a special discount linked below. Be sure to use that if you are interested in this. When you don't speak yourself. Rosetta Stone Homeschool Edition uses the immersion method, so neither parent nor student needs to speak a word of the language. That's how Rosetta Stone works too. Introducing words and images in a sequence, carefully designed by PhDs in linguistics. Okay, that's so exciting. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let's go to the math course that we are taking this year, and let's look at the preview for that. more together. So the Blue Hills Adventure Race at Lake Clinton covers 20, it's like 22 mile course. So you have to sort of get prepared. And actually I got prepared for this myself. Here we go. There we go. Cause you don't want to sweat during this thing, you know? And I've got my water bottle. Here we go. 22 They also offer live tutorials as well. If your child needs some help, as you can see, it's just really simple video lessons. And then you take your little unit lessons and go through at your own pace. I'm just so excited to have found that. So that's what my older children, my sixth and seventh graders will be taking for math this year and we're very excited about it. We are a Charlotte Mason homeschool, so we do all of the um, history and science and all of those kind of things together. As a unit, um, we do a lot of reading. We love read alouds, we love reading together. So, but each child takes their own English and math, very specific to them courses. My daughter is very well read. She has read well over a hundred novels just this past year. Um, in fact, she told me that number is incredibly conservative because she swears she reads one book like every day or two, and that's probably true. <laughs> every time you see my daughter, she's holding a book. So, but she doesn't really need a lot of um, formal English and grammar curriculum accordingly, because if you read a lot, you just kind of naturally pick up syntax and where punctuation should go, and you just kind of become well-spoken naturally, which is my Charlotte Mason homeschool aim. <laughs> but she has requested um, to continue with um, formal grammar lessons, and she wanted spelling, which I usually don't do because, again, I feel like just by reading good books, you often learn how to um, spell well and just through the application of life like we have pen pals and such and we go through those letters and we we learn spelling naturally but 
for her, I have picked up, uh, we've decided to do Liberty Press, and they say it's their prayer that students will use God's gift of language for his glory. So this is the grammar book my seventh grader will be using in this coming year, and it says this text affirms that the learning of grammatical rules and their proper usage is foundational to good communication. The distinctions between words, their relation to each other in a sentence, and the rules that govern language are the basic building blocks of writing well. So it breaks up grammar in a very practical way. Um, you go through, you look at sentences, you label sentences, you break them apart, you circle different things. It teaches you different principles of sentences, um, when to use a type of sentence. It's very, um, I like the way it breaks it up. It's very simply put and straightforward. A lot of diagramming, a lot of circling, um, but very bite-sized pieces. A one lesson should take you about 15 minutes max, which I love for homeschool. It's a really good book, really good grammar. It's book two I started her with because like I said, she is pretty advanced for her age. So I didn't really want to start her with book one after looking at them. I think book two is appropriate. Um, so there are two books in the grade level if you want to do them both. But really good. Definitely recommend Liberty Press. The spelling, she specifically requested a really good spelling book so she could get a little bit of an edge on her vocabulary. So I picked out the Liberty Press. Um, it's actually an eighth grade book. And I want to make sure she's progressing and not you know, staying at a certain level. Students will be taught root words from languages such as Latin, French, Greek, Spanish, American Indian, and Dutch. So you're learning the root of words as well as learning to spell them. Um, it teaches vocabulary from ancient and modern poetry. And um, it talks about literature studies in here. Um, there's columns at the back um, for spelling tests per unit. And I love how it mixed things up with um, puzzles and various assignments. So it kind of keeps it fun. You're learning about all the good things. Here's an example. It says, circle the words you find in these excerpts from world literature. Write the words in the blanks. Discuss with your instructor whether these thoughts expressed are in keeping with Christian truth. So here's one. Devotion is love for something higher than ourselves. Something that, that evokes our idealism which while we despair becoming equal to it, yet makes us aspire to become like it. Ooh, deep. <laughs> so you get to, um, it's so much more than spelling. Like I said, vocabulary, learning all the good things. Um, it's a deeper level of thinking. Um, and like I said, I really do like that it kind of mixes it up with different puzzles and different assignments along the way. And they are short, simple lessons. Um, like this is all of lesson three right here, one little page. Especially as a Charlotte Mason homeschool, I don't want my children tied to a table doing worksheets all day. Um, like I said, we love our read-alouds. We love doing projects together. We love experiencing things together. I try to keep their table time very very simple, especially for those smaller grades. They might sit at the table for 20 minutes um, a day tops because that's really all it takes. For my older kids, a little bit more, but really not a lot. Most of our table work can be finished in an hour or much less each day. And that provides us with the time to do deeper things and read more and do the family things, play a board game together. We want to experience life together, not just sit at a table doing worksheets all day. You don't have to. We're not trying to replicate public school and our homeschool. This is a homeschool. We do it better. <laughs> so next, I am so excited. This year, my daughter, I decided I am going to introduce some novels to her that mommy would like her to read. We are going to go a little bit deeper into literature studies and I have chosen the first one we're going to do is C.S. Lewis's Screw Tape Letters and I'm so excited to share this with her. I got the study guide because I want it to provoke her thinking and guide her on the journey of reading it so she goes really deep. Um, on the back of the study guide it says what if hell were organized as a fiendish bureaucracy with managers and field agents? Meet Screwtape, upper management, an uncle to Wormwood, a field agent tempter. Hell shares no love, but Screwtape's letters are full of advice on the weakness of humanity, and they are extremely practical. Through Screwtape's letters to Wormwood, Lewis wittily and sometimes painfully reveals our too human weakness. Okay, so 
what this is. A little synopsis here for you. In the screw tape letters, C.S. Lewis writes 31 letters from screw tape, the uncle, to his nephew, Wormwood, on how to corrupt a human soul. So it is a, a deep look uh, written from the perspective of evil, <laughs> giving us an awareness of how Satan may be influencing our own lives. And when you know Satan's tactics, you know how to combat them. So it can um, just take you a little bit deeper into reflecting on your own life and how Satan may be tempting you. Um, it talks a lot about faith and reason. And each letter is a logical proof for explaining Christian doctrine. So good, evil, love, free will. Um, God only allows evil in our life to bring about a greater good. And that is what the screw tape letters are all about. Um, so I want to take her deeper into reflecting on her own life. And um, what a fabulous way to do it in school. So that will be our first literature study. And I have only bought the book for this. I have not bought the um, study guide yet, but our next literature study will be Number of the Stars. This is about German troops beginning to take the Jews out of Denmark. And it's a little girl and how she tries to hide and protect her Jewish little friend through this experience. So um, we love talking about the Holocaust. And I think this is something that will, again, make her think deeper and um, probably make her feel really blessed to be safely tucked at home. <laughs> so that is a really good one. And then another one. I just like this. So I'm excited to read it with her. David Livingston. Oh my goodness. Okay. So Livingston was an ex he's a missionary explorer. He was an explorer and an evangelist in Africa. He mapped many unexplored areas of Africa and he sought to make Christ known wherever he stepped. And um, the famous story of Dr. Livingston was Henry Stanley, who was a journalist, was sent by his um by his news agency to uh, find the lost Livingston. Was he lost? Was he really lost? You know, you'll have to find out. <laughs> um, upon finding him, he coined the phrase Dr. Livingston, I presume. So really good missionary story about the faithfulness of God and adventure, really cool book. Um, it says inspiring true stories of men and women who answered God's call. Um, so that's going to be our third literature study and hopefully we will just fly through those and we'll do all the literature studies and I'll show you more later. <laughs> those are the first three for now. Now with each child before we start the new school year I sit down with them and I ask them what would you like to do? Just their own special things. What would you like to go deeper in? What would you like to do with your school this year? And my daughter chose um a couple of things. My daughter, specifically for her, she loves Abraham Lincoln. He inspires her. She has read so many books about him and she just absolutely loves him. So I thought this was incredibly appropriate for her. Lincoln's daily devotional. It has a different devotional for each day. And if you didn't know, Abraham Lincoln carried this exact devotional, a smaller version, around in his pocket every day. Um, his wife, Mary, gave it to him and it carried him through some very hard times as president. And he leaned on these devotionals daily for his inspiration and time with God. So really cool look into history and a little bit of Bible thrown in there as well. So I'm excited for that. My daughter also has decided to start a foreign language in seventh grade, and she chose French. I told her Spanish would probably be more appropriate because we live in Texas and there's Mexico. <laughs> and mommy knows Spanish, but she doesn't know French, but she wanted French. And you know what? If that is what God's calling her to, maybe she'll be a French missionary. Maybe she'll do something with this. I don't know. So <laughs> I am getting her the French Rosetta Stone to start. And as a fun thing, my daughter loves to cook as well. She absolutely loves to cook. And I, so I bought her this little French macaroon book because I thought, what a fun little addition to learning French. And she will be so excited to see this. So it has all the little recipes for making all the different French macaroons. I am excited to see what comes of that. I'm sure she will bake me all of the yummy things. So <laughs> there was that. And then I found this, I am so excited about this. Um, journables. So what this is, 
I went ahead and got for her Proverbs. This is going to be her writing activity. Um, she is always trying to get better at writing. She has a pen pal and she always wants her handwriting to be perfect. So this is a good little daily practice with her handwriting to just go slow and be thoughtful. So what it is, it is every day you read a proverb and you write it down chapter by chapter, one a day. At the end, she will have her own book of Proverbs and studies show that writing by hand turns on the part of the brain that actually activates memory. So there's something about handwriting scripture that actually helps you to remember it better. So not only will it help her handwriting and help her memory with learning Proverbs and um, all of those good things, but it's also just a really, sentimental sweet thing that she can have if she enjoys this i will buy her the journal of psalms as well so but for now we're gonna try proverbs but um if i made my son do this he'd probably die <laughs> but my daughter this is very my daughter so this is specifically for her and i think she's going to be very excited by it so for bible I just keep buying all the Bibles. I feel like I buy my children a new Bible every year and that's okay. <laughs> so for my daughter, first I got her the um, highlighters and pens to take notes in her Bible. I think that's what a Bible is for, is writing stuff down and you know, what God's telling you. So I bought her the fun little set and being a tween, that's just exciting. So, and I got her, I, I researched this and I really, really enjoy and recommend this, a children's one year Bible. Um, it's the challenge edition. It's so cool. So it will tell you like today you're supposed to read July 15th. It gives a little bold, um, a little bold synopsis of what this chapter is going to be about so before you read it you kind of know what you're looking for and what this chapter is going to say and then you read that chapter in the bible and then at the end it has some notes about the chapter to make you think a little bit deeper so if every day she reads that day of this bible in one year she will have read the whole bible and it is a children's bible so it is on their level in a bite-sized way that they can just absorb it and digest it and so good okay guys so that is my seventh grade curriculum choices i am so excited about my choices um personalized to my seventh grader i am most excited about the think well math i think it's going to revolutionize the way she learns math and i'm really excited about that i can't wait to share with you our family studies that we're going to be doing i have a stack of good books I will be sure to link below all of the things that I have chosen in the description. So if you're looking for something specific, be sure to check that out. I will also list in the description the Think Well Math discount if you are as excited as me to use that this coming year. And until next time, guys, I appreciate you. Bye. Every day we search a meaning, every class